Running like crazy, the camera couldn't keep up, so it turned to White Tiger. As soon as I turned on the device, I saw White Tiger pouring out a pile of blood. White Tiger, Lyra, White Stork, and a single wolf are seriously injured. The human side is no less. Only a few infantrymen and two genetically modified superhumans were left panting like dogs. Exactly like a dog. The strange beast side massacred all 100 people on the human side. Bodies were piled up everywhere. But the human side also refused to give up. Hao Zi saw that the strength of the strange beasts was gradually running out. Wen Wolf also has only one left. In particular, Hu Zi also noticed that from the beginning, the white tiger tried to protect the mutated woman. Therefore, we must take advantage of her to create opportunities to destroy them all. Whether White Tiger and Lyra are okay or not, of course it's not okay. White Tiger shielded himself from the cannon, causing considerable damage to himself. His eyes are gradually fading. Physical strength is also almost completely consumed. If she hadn't had to endure it, Lyra would have been dragged away by humanity long ago. After fighting until we were tired to death, we could only move a few soldiers. Then the humans brought another group of soldiers. Not only that, the next group is even more VIP than the previous group. It's all unreal sublime. At the head of that group is the genetically modified vampire Jiller. You're so late. Ho Zi has been waiting for a long time. Lyra had been exhausted from the fight and was about to finish the fight when reinforcements arrived. In the end, we have to fight until it ends. Not only that, the newly appeared name Spirit Power is extremely outstanding. Jiller's rank is unknown, but I'm afraid only Wu Ziyu can handle it. Jiller didn't even bother to take action himself. He ordered to continue attacking. The strange beasts won't last much longer. The whole group of supernatural people rushed up. Use these to oppress the weak. The beast faction also responded to zero tolerance. One animal must be weighed at the same time by several people. Tiger uses its teeth to bite across Unreal Sublime. Wayne Wolf grabbed the white trigger and used his beak to stab the man's most painful spot. Lyra used the vine to grab everyone's heads at once. The Playboy sister screamed, grabbed two flashlights and threw them close to Lyra's face. Suddenly my shirt is so white I can't see it. The Playboy sister lunged forward with her claws. He cursed and then he crashed into Lyra. In the end, when will this Playboy sister go to hell? Hate you. Hell will wait for those demon worlds to finish building the ninth floor before accepting it. Hell's current standards do not allow it to contain a Playboy sister. Bombs and bullets have not stopped falling for a second since the war began. The Kestrel continuously spits flame into the animals, one lump of flame after another. Will smoke, fire, and dust shoot up and explode, killing them? Dream on, honey, I'll cover it with roots so there's no way it could explode to death. Beneath the huge tree roots was a group of chimpanzees, each with bright eyes. Through the flame spitting of iron birds, they simultaneously attacked. On earth, there are chimpanzees. In the sky, there are falcons. The falcon pierced the flock of iron birds to stop them from spitting and destroying everything below. And the iron bird can only threaten Wu Ziyu's pet. That type of missile cannot penetrate his roofs. While I was sitting at home as a military advisor supporting my pets in battle, Someone came to harass me. That guy stepped on a small tree branch and broke it. Looming from behind the willow tree came. Wu Ziyu turned his eyes away and looked at the end. Human, how did General Lee come to the place where the willow tree took root? I've been told he's very strong, but I've never seen him show off his strength. However, one can gently approach the willow tree. Wu Ziyu was so close that he discovered that he was definitely a scary person. Back to the scene where the Playboy sister stabbed Lyra with her claws at the front line. Not only did she pierce through him, but she also pulled out and let Lyra fly freely into the tree. Linlin did not stab her in the heart because she still wanted to bring Lyra back for questioning. But the child's hand was still very heavy. On the one hand, it is because of disgust for strange beasts. On the one hand, she was disgusted by the smell that was exactly like the smell of the country girl, the Xiao King, that she hated the most. Oh my god, your nose is as good as a dog's. Are you a dog? The tiger does not like the dog. He even disliked the dog that had just beaten his language teacher. The white tiger pounced from behind the dog, using sharp claws to scratch Lin Lin's body. He couldn't cut her off, only knocked her thousands of meters away. How Z shouted Lin Lin's name. She lay on the ground holding her bloody neck and cursing Danit. 
Lyra was saved by the tiger again. Suddenly White Tiger opened his mouth and told her to leave quickly, looking for divine beings. Seeing that the stupidest student in the class could finally speak, Lyra was so shocked that she fainted. But that's not the problem, ma'am. The problem is that humans still have many people with strong spirit power behind them. If you run quickly, everyone will die. Lyra didn't want to go so she screamed, but White Tiger yelled back. Lyra couldn't scream at the White Tiger, so Lyra had to keep quiet. Then she gritted her teeth and used vines as her legs to run straight. Humans, of course, wouldn't let her go. Immediately followed. But being stopped by Wayne Wolf, if you can't attack at close range, then attack at long range. Stop her quickly. The soldiers fired like crazy at Lyra. About to hit the spot, the white stork used its body to block it. The bullets had been changed to specialized ones for strange beasts, so shooting them is extremely painful. Piercing the white stork's body, causing it to vomit blood from its mouth. Wind Wolf is like it. If you get stabbed by some people, you will definitely die. White Tiger, of course, he can't be left alone. More than a dozen people rush towards it. The current situation is a little healthy, but still a lot. Lyra managed to run anyway. She ran and cried, blaming herself for being useless for and not being able to help the White Tiger. The group of supernatural people kept rushing up one after another. They beat the White Stork's ruined body to a pulp. A White Stork that was hit in the head with an iron rod gradually lost its cognitive ability. He remembered the battle with Baby Snake that day. It basically doesn't want to fight the snake. The White Stork is different from other strange animals. It wasn't close to Hixiaoking or Hixioling, so it didn't want to die because of those two people. The White Stork then considered the crazy revenge of the strange beasts and Wu Ziyu to be childish. The dead are already dead. What's the point of trying to get revenge like that? But in the end, in that battle, it was still present. It still fought and was foolishly defeated. Cranes are birds that live on large continents. Oh, this one isn't a stork. Why didn't you say it at first? In the end, it's a crane. Cranes are a group living species. Usually crane populations are made up of several large families. Cranes are sacred birds, but also quite weak. When the first wave of spirit power came, they almost couldn't stand it and became extinct. Wu Ziyu's crane was the lucky one to survive. After the battle with Baby Snake, White Crane resides next to Wu Ziyu, even if it's not taken seriously. Even though I can't show my talent, it's not as good as a honey badger's butt, it's always present there happily living. At least it has a home and a place to anchor when its wings get tired. Being close to other pets for a long time, Gradually, he also understood everyone's determination to fight Baby Snake that day. Wanting revenge is a certain type of mood. The more you understand it, the more painful it becomes, especially for someone like him who doesn't have the strength to take revenge. The suffering is even greater, feeling helpless and ashamed. So it made up its mind. If one day he has to take revenge, he swears he will do his best. The white crane stretched out its wings and used its last strength to scream at the unreal sublime group. Your father absolutely won't let you go there. Humans do not accept insults from a dying crane. They rushed forward to hit the crane's beak. But the white tiger bit them first. Tiger bit a guy. Kick one guy. Total two guys. After biting him to death, he spit out the guy in his mouth. Looking up, there were more than a hundred guys in the same uniform. The guys in uniform followed the orders of the guy who wasn't in uniform and rushed forward, like when Yuan carried out a large and powerful attack. In the face of danger, White Tiger remembered what Wu Ziyu once told him. He said it's a good thing to pursue great power. In terms of fighting techniques, it is not inferior to others of the same rank. However, the body's strength does not last forever, will gradually be eroded by time. At that time, it will be afraid because it feels that its strength is not enough. Therefore, you must constantly train your mind to become tough so that when faced with a strong enemy, you will no longer think about turning tail and running away. To shoulder all my responsibilities. What Wu Ziyu said to the white tiger was not to want it to fight to the death, but want it to be able to maintain its temperament in the most dangerous situations, is for it to become a powerful forest lord. Reliable, can use the lord's might to protect the animals he cherishes. Like in this situation, in front of hundreds of unreal sublime rushing towards them. It cannot be a stupid tiger forever. The things Wu Ziyu said will definitely be learned because he is the Chi Wong beast. That's the same forest, covered in fog like any other day.
but it carries a strange wind of mourning. Tang Wen stood on the ground and looked up. The scene before my eyes was extremely proud. The white tiger stood on a mountain of corpses of hundreds of supernatural beings. Brave and proud appearance. The little ant looked at it and exclaimed in admiration at the stupid tiger. Calling tigers stupid is a compliment. Normally, it is called the stupid tiger. On the green step, there was a big tiger stalking a herd of bison. I don't know when the appearance of regalia appeared on white tiger's body. Is it from the time it steps out on its own or from the first time it hunts successfully? But perhaps also when it faces death without backing down. Not all or not. Tianguan had been looking at the tiger without blinking. Is he so handsome? Why do I keep looking at him like that? The white tiger also stood still for ants to see, but there's something wrong. When did white tiger's eyes turn from blue to opaque gray? The mantis that came after Tianguan was also impressed by the white tiger's majesty. What are you looking at? Let the mantis look. The mantis looked closely and was suddenly startled. Tears suddenly welled up in his eyes. White tiger still stands but can no longer walk. Even the skin on the right side of the tiger was stripped away. I swear the playboy sister stripped. If not, then which one? The praying mantis cried, making the ants that had been holding it in also cry. Tying one's whole body trembled. Opening its mouth wide, it raised its head and screamed at the blue sky. The resentment was so great that it turned into a bright red aura emitting from its entire body. After all, how many more important things do humans want to take away from it? How far do you want to extend your hatred to be satisfied? Tying Wen's scream echoed through the mountains and forests. The sky that had been blue and white with white clouds had suddenly changed to gray without realizing it, signaling that suffering has just begun. On another side in the forest, Honey Badger after temporarily cutting off the human race, he is covering you with leaves. He used to have two friends but now he only has one left who is dying. The Honey Badger had just taken a few breaths when the human voice made it hold its breath. The Yellow Monkey wanted to fight with the Honey Badger but he couldn't even stand. The Honey Badger is tired too, but he's not hiding here. If humans find them, they will kill them both. The Honey Badger left the Golden Monkey to rest there and he ran away. If Wu Ziyu's vines were as long as the roots, he would be able to reach out and help them. But now, if it's still an if, over here, humans are searching for honey badgers. They still remembered the honey badgers in the past shooting onions for Yan Goiwen's team, so they were even more determined to eliminate the honey badgers. Don't look for me, come on your own. What if I search further and find my friend? The monkey can't fight anymore so I have to fight for him. The honey badger rushed from behind and quickly grabbed the shoulder of an unreal sublime. The remaining supernatural beings discovered it and immediately attacked it. First, used an iron glove to punch its back. Then he used an iron hammer to hit his stomach hard. Hmm, when I lifted the hammer, I couldn't see the badger anymore. It's like going underground. All five supernatural beings looked around nervously. At the feet of some supernatural being, honey badger used his iron head to pounce hard on his chin. Bombs and bullets follow the attack and fly everywhere. Even though he actively attacked, the honey badger was really exhausted. It has a mouth full of blood, tired, bloodshot eyes, still gradually graying like the white tiger's eyes just now. Lightning pressure iron honey badger. He's rushed in to beat the honey badger. It's good to huddle together like that. Both convenient and dead. The honey badger vomited two hot bombs. I just realized it now, guys. Just now, when it stabbed up from the ground, it actively stuffed the bomb into its mouth. Bomb exploded. At close range, don't dodge, you damn humans. How powerful they were when they were hit by two bombs is best known to humans. Scanning bomb loses color honey badger, loses color all four unreal sublime. Human limbs were flying around. The ancient empire has already sensed it. It prepares to bring its massive body to this place. Touches the crocodile family especially the three bad-tempered crocodiles. The crocodile will definitely fight with all its might. Where can the honey badger come from with this kind of light around? No trees, no animals, no unreal sublime. I stood there for a long time before someone came to call me on this side. Here I thought there was nothing, but there was heat shawling. This girl is heat shawling that I'm not familiar with. Unlike the mixed version, her appearance is very lively and active. Is it heat shulling who has been waiting here for the honey badger or is it the angel who wanted the honey badger to have his last happy moment and transformed into it? It's not important either. 
It is important that the honey badger's body has rested. Badger heart has been compensated. Tears, nose, and everything flowed out. It quickly jumped into each showling's arms. The honey badger clung to his hand tightly and cried loudly. He tried to be strong for so long now, he doesn't need to be anymore. Hikshaling held it in his heart and told it from now on there would be no more pain. Then take it away. The honey badger's glorious life is now considered complete. The trio of bad boys now only have the yellow monkey left breathing. After resting, it followed the sound of the explosion and found it. In response, it was a human body planted in the ground. The weapon flew away and the honey badger lay in a pool of blood. The monkey suddenly burst into tears and couldn't say a word. Both friends left to protect it. Is leaving it alone here now a blessing or a misfortune for it? How did the two bombs come back online for speed? He crawled on the ground. It hurt so much. Is anyone there? His whole body was bruised and his eyes were blind, but his mouth still functioned very well. Lightning screamed to kill him and then peeled off the honey badger. If the honey badger dies, I will trample on its beauty and will absolutely not forgive it. Shut your mouth right now. Wasn't fighting honey badgers enough? Punch it and throw it everywhere. Three groups, five groups, trampled. How come he doesn't know what pain is? It hurts when he hits you back. It immediately hit him in the mouth with a stick. I heard that guy talking so fast and I was so angry that I was angry, not to mention a monkey. The yellow monkey is still yellow but its body has a red anger effect surrounding it. It was this old guy who crushed my friend's heart. You punched me and punched my friend until he was devastated. You're dead. Your mother and I are dead. You don't need to see the monkey's hatred to know it. Just now, he was still pretending to be superior and was now frantically asking for forgiveness. Now, even if I take out two billion, two thousand billion, I won't be able to buy back your life. The yellow monkey has reached the limit of its endurance. It screamed its eyes red with veins. Ignoring Lois, please, he continued to beat several times. On the green grass today, there is another spot of blood. The lightning speed on the other side has been smashed until it no longer has its shape. Face, nose, and hair in tatters. The body has several very deep scars. Next to him, the monkey's walking stick was broken into several pieces and left there. The yellow monkey was supposed to break the old stick and exchange it for a new one to continue hitting but he was too tired. It carries the dead honey badger on its back. The wound in its abdomen had completely eliminated the poison, but due to vigorous exercise, it opened up, bleeding a lot. It carried the honey badge for a while until it reached the place where the wild boar was lying. The yellow monkey placed his hand on the boar's head. It raises its eyes upward. The sky today is very beautiful and clear, making people smile in a very good mood. Usually on days like this, they will go out together find fruit to eat and then compete. It was a bit presumptuous, but thinking back, it was really good at that time. Now is also good. After all, they are still together. Whether dead or alive doesn't matter. Somewhere else in the forest, Lyra hugged her broken body and dragged herself step by step towards the willow tree. While leaning against a tree to breathe, a noise came from behind. In the mist and dim darkness, familiar black and white fur appeared. Lyra asked White Tiger, which tiger? There are only dogs here. Lots of dogs followed Lyra, especially the dog Linlin. It even dared to wrap White Tiger's skin on its body. Seeing Lyra, Linlin seemed a bit confused, so she started barking. Did this second country girl just call that tiger? I have to praise that tiger's skin is very warm, she said and laughed in a sickly way, making Lyra shocked, regardless of whether you can't fight back or whether you're injured or not. Lyra threw the vines back and forth towards the Lin Lin dog. Go and die, bitch. Unfortunately, the dog Lin Lin is not an easy person to deal with. It gently dodged all the vines and approached Lyra. Ha ha ha, ha you're too slow. With his body covered in injuries, there's nothing he can do but die. Lin Lin came closer, one hand grabbed Lyra's hair, and the other hooked Lyra's old wound. Mom, that dog Lin Lin is really bad. Lingling intended to cut out Lyra's heart, but suddenly got hit and failed. I don't know who hit me, I just know that it was quite painful, as powerful as a small bomb. Lingling jumped back and cursed. Besides, Lingling keeps hitting Lyra and gets beaten. Last time it was White Tiger. This time it was King Kiang with Leader Fang. Finally the day comes to see this trio reunite. The two sons stood in front to protect Lyra sitting in the back. 
She was still holding the white tiger's skin in her hand. Ling Ling was surprised that there was a human protecting a strange beast. She was certain that the other two were employees of the organization in the mountain. It's both right and wrong. Mr. Leader Feng has not carefully read the labor contract with Wu Ziyu, so he doesn't know if he should be considered an employee or not. Jiller thinks there are people here, so he should take them alive and interrogate them. And this playboy sister backs down to save time. Who can you beat in your current state? Jiller also affirmed that he himself could definitely handle it. Vampires who aren't afraid of the sun are terrible. Who dares to play again? In the center of the fog. Wu Ziyu and General Li were looking at each other passionately before General Li spoke first. You are the boss here, right? That's right. My younger brother is the president of a multi-species company here. The egg doesn't need to open its mouth to speak. Moreover, he spoke human language so clearly that General Li was shocked and the color of his glasses was blown away. Even though I know there are species that can open their minds, meeting them in person is still quite amazing. Besides, it was still a pregnant tree. General Lai slowly pulled out his sword. I asked jokingly, but you dare to accept it. So did you do the fake animals? While General Lai spoke, through the system, Wu Ziyu first grasped General Li's skills. General Lai has reached peak strength at rank 2. He is 27 years old this year. Natural talent. Fairy Tian's wisdom. Special skills sword key and alchemy. Sword energy. If you have watched many movies, you probably know that it is the ability to concentrate your energy into a tangible light sword and then cause damage. As for General Lee's alchemy ability, the first is to make medicinal pills to enhance spirit power. The second is a type of medicinal pill that makes wood fat forcibly increase rank by consuming lifespan. General Lee's maximum lifespan is 105 years. The level of consumption when forcibly increasing rank is unknown. About General Lee's question earlier, Wu Ziyu would like to answer as follows. I can do anything. Can I do it? Because of me. He said that humans should not step on his mountain. General Lai has a different view. He believes that strange beasts should not rob people of their homes. Because humanity wants to live in peace. It is necessary to eliminate strange beasts. It sounds so funny. Which place belongs to humans? We don't have the same opinion. So it's best not to fight because it's tiring. Whisk until hot. But it's a bit strange. I should have said a few more words. Why are you so afraid to communicate? General Lee's first move is a quick strike with a normal sword and weapon with additional spirit power. If you touch the tree, the spirit power line will still be there, but the sword will break. He opened his eyes and saw clearly the pieces of sword flying out and flying across his face. Why did the soldier say General Lee was blind? What a lie. General Lee's eyes were not paying attention for a moment and he paid the price with a strangulation. I was so scared that I left General Lai. The battle between these two generals, which was initially considered evenly matched, ended quickly with a neck-breaking attack. Returned to the International Conference of Mankind five days ago. After the Talking Ants incident, we continued to discuss another incident. Take a look at the home screen. That red dot is the location recorded when the crocodile entered the big mountain. This image was returned from the air by a satellite. Anyone with eyes can see that the whole mountain is full of fog. Before that mountain was never so obscure. Before the spirit power wave swept through. The ravine area is extremely green and especially without any fog. Strictly speaking, fog is not a natural phenomenon that this area has. The officers were in a commotion, suddenly turning around the ravine for no reason. Could this be where the beasts tied? Stop jumping into your throat now. While giving a presentation, keep talking. Showing the ravines up of course not only because it's beautiful, but because of the issue of who is behind the beasts discussed earlier. From the beginning, it was always discussed that the people behind the strange beasts were humans. However, it may not be human either. What did the high-ranking commander say that gave him a heart attack? But don't lie, at the moment the microscopic reconnaissance aircraft on the crocodile's body was destroyed. On the right side of the screen there is the silhouette of an unknown creature. Just notice now. What's that black lump hiding there? Zooming in, we discovered that the lump was the Wuziu egg. Low quality photo, but the egg is located in the middle of a large high quality tree trunk. You can tell it's a dangerous creature. The bushy bearded man was surprised and stunned. Unable to believe that such a deformed shape was due to evolution. It's been just over half a year since the first spirit power wave. 
In just half a year, he was able to control all eight falcons and giant crocodiles. Definitely not below rank one. Manipulating strange beasts to mutate humans. Learn human language. All of these mysteries will be confirmed directly by General Lai. But when General Lee arrived, he was thrown out into the street. This confrontation is certainly not against humans, but is facing even greater risks. Strange beasts have the intelligence that humans fear the most. Humans consider themselves to be the highest level creatures on Earth. Relying on a head that is smarter than other species, it monopolizes the Earth. Now, naturally, another species has appeared that also has intelligence, causing their dominance to be shaken, causing humans to struggle and decide to sterilize that creature. General Lee stood in the smoke and dust. His mouth was bleeding before he breathed lightly. Sharp tree roots were placed in front of his throat. Wu Ziyu has the upper hand. He sees that humans can only talk a lot. Just now, he was screaming and demanding to take back this place. Now the strongest human being is kneeling before him. It's funny, but not funny. Let the tree speak for you. Up until now, this multi-species company has never intended to declare war on humanity. He has no interest in cannibalism and has no interest in violating human habitation. If the humans withdraw their troops, he will ensure that the strange beasts will live in hiding without creating karma with anyone. Definitely not a threat to humans. General Lai definitely did not believe what Willow Tree said. He stood up to tell Wu Ziyu the sad news. He hasn't discovered it yet, so let General Le tell him. All soldiers entering the mountain carried spirit power jammers. That machine can hide the user's spirit power within a 5 meters radius. Many such jammers will also block the spirit power of the pets. The fog Wu Ziyu created was also unnoticeable. But General Lee could know the entire battle situation through the radio. Wu Ziyu's pets are all dead. Psychological manipulation. People. Most of the pets are dead. Just almost dead. General Lei was afraid that if he spoke without evidence, Wu Ziyu would not believe him, so he directly said that the honey badger and white tiger were dead. Everyone died in this mountain. He held up the broken sword. Spiritual energy poured into the hand holding the sword. In this battle, humans are ants. Wu Ziyu is an elephant. Kill Wu Ziyu to receive the new species that can continue to live in this territory. The egg cracks to form a mouth. Without needing General Lee to say anything, he already accepted that there would be sacrifices beforehand. Knowing in advance that there will be a painful loss does not mean being afraid of death. The mind of alien animals is not inferior to humans. However, living creatures can fight like tireless machines. The falcon flock crashed into the iron bird. Can't keep the same speed forever. They were shot back by the iron bird in midair. In the forest, a trio of humans could not compete with a vampire who knew how to sunbathe. It grabbed him by the neck and lifted him up like he was lifting an animal. Chimpanzees have also been oppressed by superhumans. They punched holes all over its body. The strange beast is gradually becoming weaker. But for the sake of so-called fairness, we will definitely not back down. This world is a shared world. Humans and animals appear and live together. Animals are not allowed to enter the negotiating table, so they can only use fighting to fight for what belongs to them. Even if the outcome of the battle is tragic, where did the ancient empire go? The three bad-tempered children are all dead, sat in a heap without moving anymore. Now that I have arrived, I can only cry and not be saved anymore. If Tangwen doesn't want to cry like the ancient empire, then run faster. Wu Ziyu seemed crazy. Since when did humans have the right to divide the order of the world? What do you want? Since when? Although Wu Ziyu only shouted at General Li, it was telling all humanity how unruly they were. General Li was only blind in one eye, not mute but he was unreasonable, so he remained silent and said nothing. Humanity looks back to see if the morality they have been practicing for so long is correct or not. Things have gotten to this point, and it's no longer a joke. Wu Zi raised his roots and prepared for a life and death duel. He even personally warned humans. Since the war has started, we need to worry about eradicating him completely because if he does not die in the future, he will definitely not stop taking revenge on humanity. Tell me again where your multi-species company likes to live. No need for anyone's consent. This earth does not belong to humans. So just people say they don't care. Crocodiles have received enough grief and howl fiercely. Humans and crocodiles have died. On the other hand, Tiangwen has also arrived. 
The first thing that catches your eye is the scene where a vampire squeezes a teammate. The ant's eyes were itchy, so the ant's attack unfortunately did not hit Jiller's neck, but instead hit the cloak. The phantom shirt is unbearable, but it can move and is still very stiff. Tianguan saw that the shirt was so fake that he was shocked. Lyra saw Tianguan coming and was shocked. Saw the tiger skin in Lyra's hand. It wants to tear humanity apart even more. The soldiers behind saw the little ants and wanted to shoot them down. But just having an idea has already exhausted the ability to implement it. The mantis followed. Little ants slashed the soldiers. Chopped people like chopping fish. Jiller jumped back. He was also quite surprised when there were two strange beasts that moved at high speed and both had intelligence. But it's not that shocking. Jiller was not shocked, but the dog Ling Ling was shocked. It ran away immediately. The little ant and the praying mantis are a perfect couple. A child risks more blood than brain. One careful wins. It screamed. It couldn't run away. It couldn't leave alone again. Previously, humans tortured them to death. Only it remains. At that time, because I was too weak to resist, I lost everything. Now its second family is threatened. I still want him to stare blankly. Tianguan rushed up to attack Killer again. The results remain unchanged, but it doesn't want to stop. The little ant continuously slashed dozens of times. This time Jiller didn't bother to help anymore. Avoid it all directly. I was so helpless that I didn't know what to do other than attack. Tang Wen used the ground as a launching pad. Rushing like crazy around the Jiller. Jiller was not injured, but the praying mantis stood outside and squinted his eyes. Tang Wen's current speed is too fast to see. Tang Wen landed a full force blow straight to Jiller's head. The pressure from the attack drove the giller into the ground like a nail, causing the surrounding ground to crumble. Looks like there's another broken one on the ground. Fragments flew across the small ant's face. Is its claw. Tiang Wen slashed with all his force and hit giller, but the skin on giller's face was so thick that not even a drop of blood fell out. Jiller uses his cloak to stab the small ant across the abdomen. The mantis saw that the ants weren't doing too well. It screamed and rushed up. The guy who applied the mixed cream let my friend go. You cream mantis dare to criticize me for using whipped cream. Your speed is not even as fast as the yellow ant just now. Look, if you wave your shirt, you'll die. Jiller smirked and pulled up his cloak. Before he could do anything, he was hugged tightly from behind by life's fate. Looks so beautiful together. But Jiller's fate was mixed with a third person. Leader Fang. After the call, the little boy jumped down from the sky holding a 60 centimeters long sword. If you can't cut it off by cutting it, then poke it from the eye down. Through the eye, it will go straight down to the brain, to the neck, to the intestines, until it penetrates the asshole. Jiller heard that and was afraid that Jiller would have to split into hundreds of thousands of children to run away. Leader Fang's sword therefore stabbed straight into the ground. Along the path of the sword, black gas emitted 360 degrees. Jiller really fainted after being hit by this attack. Luckily, I could run in time. Leader Fang gritted his teeth as he watched the bats fly out. Playing people who don't play is such a cowardly game. All the bats flew up. Looking towards Leader Fang's group, he waved his wings teasingly. It's a bit early to be happy. Guy using mixed ice cream. Lyra is a pretty good lottery player. I saw it. Hit the bat with red eyes for me. The mantis heard and the mantis also found the red-eyed bat. It was so shocking that it was slashed from behind, the guy using mixed ice cream. I'll cut your back and break it. Jiller from the beginning, he had very much despised the group of people and beasts that were fighting. Being bitten must be very irritating. Blood from his back and mouth kept pouring out loudly and flying straight to the ground. King Kiang was afraid that Jiller would fall and break his spine, so he quickly rushed to pick her up. Jiller saw that Jiller was happy in fear. Tiang Wen supported his friend with a happy face. Afraid that you would fall and break your ribs, the little ant grabbed your head and pressed it down first to avoid danger. Ants have heart but no strength. Just press gently and splash some dirt in rocks. I should have put my face on the ground for her to be satisfied. After the ant's gentle head press, King Kiang didn't know if the ting had won yet. The mantis approached and asked the little ant why he was still standing there after fighting. The ant was silent for a moment then screamed loudly. Want to run away? From under the rock lair. Something as dark red as blood surged up violently. After leaving the ground, they turned black and then gathered into large black lumps in the air. 
The bloodlines merged at high speed like needles piercing the bodies of Tianguan and the Mantis. Jiller's move is obsessive shock, launched at a relatively large range. So not only ants and mantises were injured, the move also swept through King Kiang and Leader Fang. King Kiang did not have time to dodge, but was able to push his friend aside. So Leader Fang escaped death after the soil and rocks stopped falling. The smoke and dust subsided from the center of the haunting shock attack. A red aura emitted. Bats gather. The mixed ice cream ambassador appeared. A little tattered in general should not be underestimated. The attack just now consumed a lot of stamina. However, the results are not very wasteful. Taewin had a hole in it. Join Zeng Goku and AC's donut team. The little ant and mantis appear to be intact. No, the praying mantis lost half its body because that half was used to protect the ants. Taewin is normally cheeky, but it is very emotional. Seeing that you were the only one left for me, I couldn't stop crying. Jiller laughed out loud consuming a bit of energy, but it was very good. The whole team on the other side was devastated, but the yellow ant was still not dead. The mixed ice cream ambassador with his full experience evaluates this yellow ant, although its body is small, but its speed is amazing. The strength is also very stable and must be eliminated early, minus the later hoe. After thinking about it, Jiller turned his cloak into a sharp drill aimed at small ants and rushed forward. Please die here. The little ant was traumatized, so he didn't run and just sat and watched his friend Rithy on the ground. However, the number of ants is not yet exhausted. Lyra took this fatal blow on his behalf. Tiangwen opened his eyes wide and stared at Lyra's back. Another person joins the donut club. Last time, Tiangwen came to save her. Now in return, she saves Tiangwen. Jiller pulled out the drill. Lyra's eyes lost their light and she fell to the ground. The ice cream ambassador took back his cape, really touching. Humans and strange beasts can combine to fight together. If Jiller brings this up to his superiors, perhaps some important things will change. For example, in the future, humans and strange animals can join hands and work side by side. That's what should happen for both parties to benefit. But who knows that behind Jiller's creamy lair is a brutal and distorted personality. He decided to hide everything. Why? Because Jiller likes the feeling of killing strange animals, the pleasure of endless carnage makes the vampire addicted. Only then will he find happiness, because then whoever dies later doesn't need to cry, because he will change lives entirely by himself. No need for hostages anymore. The big guy and the little plant man are just appetizers. Leader Fang came out of nowhere and swung his sword at Giller. Of course it still can't be cut through, just need to buy some time for Tain one to escape with the mantis. Leader Fang held one side of Jiller's cloak. From the ground a group of pink rats shot up. Mouse, it's a bit surprising too. With Tang Wen's temperament, how could it run away? He was about to stand up and fight again. But the horses stopped him and told him to run away. There was no stopping him. After all, it's two people fighting. Let them kill each other. How can you say that, you green bug? One side is a vampire and the other side is a mouse's papa. Where are you? The mantis let the little ant think for a moment. Once upon a time, a small ant stood in front of a mountain of scattered ant corp. Even if I can't fight, I still have to fight. For the mantis, the little ant's actions are stubborn and stupid. The mantis pressed it to the ground and screamed at it. How many times did it take for it to understand? If you can't fight, run away. Little ants don't know that. Who doesn't know that they can't fight back? He was still angry and crying, but everyone kept dying. From one person to another, he was very angry and did not want everyone to lie down in vain. It doesn't want to lose this place even more. Comrades sacrifice their lives to protect their common home. If they can no longer protect this place, it will. It will do it for them. Running away is no different from death. It's stupid but also adorable. The mantis has given up. If you want to win even if you die, eat me. This is not a threat like if you want to leave, just walk over my body, guys is a mantis that wants to become part of Tadangwen's power. The little ant was stunned. Oh my friend, are you joking? Whoever says it's an ant is joking. Isn't the cannibalism of cows and horses famous enough? The situation is a little different now, but the mantis is about to die anyway. In the past, the mother chewed the father's head before giving birth to the child. His father became his mother's strength, integrating into his wife's body that existed in her bloodline. 
the strange customs and habits, the ridiculous way of dying. The mantis doesn't want to be like his father. He did not accept his own fate, which was to die in his wife's mouth. That's why he left the clan to take control of his life. Different from Tiangwen, the snake mantis is better at not accepting fate and not needing to emotionally depend on anyone. His attitude of accepting fate and freedom is so great that when Tiangwen drags him back to Wuziyu, he runs away every five times. No one can imprison it. No one manipulates its soul. The decision to die today was voluntary. After Tiangwen absorbed the mantis, its power will become the power of small ants. Its speed will also become the speed of the little ant. That's all. Now, will you marry a mantis and chew its head? Tiangwen cried even louder than before. Not wanting to, not being able to kill his teammates isn't enough, but also forcing him to lose the mantis as well. Do it or don't do it, it's quick. Over here, the ice cream ambassador has blown away a bunch of rats. On the same day, Leader Fang lost both his best friends and his children. He cried while swinging his sword. But how long can his strength last? The mantis urges the little ant to become its wife. Just explaining it to the proposal was already causing him so much pain. Blood kept pouring out of his mouth. Just now, when I rushed all the way here, I couldn't even see a single breath from my teammates. So it means they're all dead. Instead of dying at the hands of humans like them, it would be better to let Tiangwen eat a few pieces and then die. It was willing to give all its power to Tiangwen. Even though the little ant was forced to join Wu Ziyu, he always considered the little ant a close friend. Little ants don't need to blame themselves. This outcome is self-chosen. Tiangwen trembled and kept cursing hatefully. He had to do it even if he hated it. That's right. Open your mouth wide and be silent. You could scream and cry. Please fulfill your fourth friend's last wish. Back to Jiller's match with Leader Fang. Leader Fang, in order to save his child, subjected himself to a drill from the ice cream ambassador. After that attack, Leader Fang was probably almost dead, not to mention the hole in his abdomen. The injuries from just now had exhausted Leader Fang. He was vomiting blood. His white eyes were still filled with tears. The little mouse saw Papa dead and burst into tears. Since when did the debt that Wu Ziyu brought turn into something that Leader Fang was willing to sacrifice his life to save? Jiller saw Leader Fang saving the mouse and Jiller laughed to death. What's the use of taking one's life to save that mouse? Then we will all go to hell together. After Jiller stabs Leader Fang, he will stab the little mouse. Like right now, the drill bit is pointing at the direction lever, ensuring they die without having time to yawn. Is it necessary to poke so hard just to poke a mouse? Killing a chicken using an elephant's knife? It all exploded. Jiller had an expressionless face and calmly waited for the smoke and dust to clear. Surprisingly, the guy applied mixed cream. You can't hit the little mouse because the red superhero has already blocked it. Just a bit surprised. It's just that the appearance changes and the spirit power changes and the strength changes. Even being able to block that one blow wouldn't be able to make this cream mixed face flinch. Even though it's true that I'm more VIP, I'm still only at level 9. Compared to the peak level at rank 1, I cannot compare with him. First, let's just joke. Ants, ants, why are you so stupid? His accomplices used their lives to buy time to escape but refused to run. Even if painted a different color, it is not your opponent. Just be stupid so others can be stupid too. While he was joking, the red superhero suddenly appeared from behind. Jiller sensed danger and immediately turned to look. Why so fast? Jiller rolled up his shirt and stabbed at the spot where the red superhero was just standing. This attack is as strong as any other attack, but it doesn't hit. Look around and see where you are. Why is that damn ant wearing ice cream ambassador and carrying dead mice? Taiyang Wen carried the rats and placed them next to Leader Fang. The little ant knew that even though Leader Fang decided to leave at that time, his heart always belonged to the willow tree. Leader Fang gave Wu Ziyu the rats and raised them as blood. Cherish mice the most. Now that the little ant is dead, he won't let father and son separate. Taiyang Wen stood before three corpses of three people of human blood. Eliminate them all for Wu Ziyu. Taiyang Wen is determined to avenge them. Now it doesn't hate people, it hates bad people. Jiller raised his level of surprise a bit. That's fast too. In the blink of an eye, all the corpses were moved together. But what about revenge? It seems like I will win. Jiller said that because he despised the enemy, he let the little ants do this and that. 
Now the little ant won't get what it wants. Don't try to show it off. Regret being born as an ant in this world. As he opened his mouth to speak, he was punched across the jaw. Jiller splashed into the chicken coop. The chicken coop exploded with smoke and dust. The smoke was still on Tianguan's fist. If there is smoke here, it means the punch is very painful. Jiller was punched and the cream mixed on his left cheek was washed away. Blood spilled out of his mouth, but stuck in rock and soil. Tianguan told Jiller to quickly stand up. One blow was aimed at nothing. Stand up and take a few more blows before you're satisfied. How many of the little ant's teammates did you kill and expect to die in one blow? Not that lucky. Now, Jiller's shock is quite strong, just entering level 9 and already being so strong. But the ice cream ambassador is not the type to be trampled on easily by others. Please allow me to refuse this service. Jiller absorbs his cloak and changes to a new skin. Always change your hairstyle. The small ant paints its skin color and the giller also paints it. So, we should be a good match. However, for Jiller Tiangwen, he is still not qualified. Tiangwen doesn't care what skin he wears. It uses the speed of light to approach Jiller and also takes a hit at the speed of light. Jiller's skill execution speed has changed significantly. Before the little ant had time to throw a punch, he wrapped his cloak around his hand and stabbed it straight into the ant's stomach. Jiller grinned, the mouth can swallow a whole watermelon. If you ignore that mouth, his hands are more dangerous. Not only is it covered with clothes, but it also has countless sharp thorns. I've become a red superhero, but I'm still so weak. He slammed that thorny hand into Tiangwen's head. After that, a dozen tentacles sprouted and punched Tiangwen. To Giller Tiangwen, who is the ugliest, you think he is the second most beautiful. What about level 9 with high speed? In the end, I died at the hands of this guy who applied this mixed cream. What matters is not speed but power. Talk to nonsense. Tiangwen had to crawl out of the smoke and punch him. Jiller's beak has been crowing so much that I need to ban chat. Tiangwen punched Jiller and turned his face 180 degrees. Compared to killing intent, Jiller has no age with ants, but compared to the number of moves, Jiller has the upper hand. For example, at this moment, countless black and red bats came out from Jiller's back. He controlled one to rush at Tiangwen. It must be recognized that Jiller's experience and fighting skills are veteran. Fighting closer is dangerous, so standing far away and poking is reasonable. But if you have one, dodging is very simple. The bat grazed the little ant's shoulder and exploded behind it. Bat-shaped bullets are his exclusive move. Each bat is a flying explosive bullet. You just dodged one, right? There are many more. You can still dodge, but your teammates won't know how to dodge. So stand still and let me throw. You are as smart as a dog. If you can't dodge, then you'll be done with hitting all the bats. Tianguan gained momentum. If you're good at it, just jump in. I can't hear you clearly. I want to destroy all of your children. How can I know how many of them are not crowing? Let me count. The whole sky is full of bats, probably about 200 to 300 of them. Wrong. It's 10,000, 3,000. And now you will level this place. Painted ants. Even the cameraman killed all the corpses. Goodbye, my love. Tianguan remained silent, not caring what Jiller was screaming about. It has no fear. Jiller seemed a bit scared and lost a lot of his composure. Since then, I've been screaming loudly. Jiller put his hand forward and ordered the bats to attack. A flock of 10,000 bats rushed to Tianguan's position. The little ant glared up. Spirit power is concentrated in the hand. After that, he performed extremely skillful fruit-cutting skills. Whichever shot you hit is the one that hits. Well, it's not slashing. It's hitting it away like a baseball. The bat flew all the way back to Jiller. Explodes, causing Jiller to fall. Being hit by this attack is both painful and embarrassing. The ice cream ambassador coughed and choked. Just like before, when he was hit by a flock of bats and flew to the ground, little ants picked him up. It's the same now, but learning from last time's experience, the little ant doesn't push your head to the ground anymore, but directly punches you straight past the ground. But the result was not much better than falling. Jiller was punched and thrown thousands of meters away. Finally landed on the ground. Really, the little ant was so careless that helping you like this was a bit too harsh. Makes you cough so much. Going back to head pressing is still better. After the mixed cream has successfully landed, massage it for you. 
If you're afraid you won't do it, just use your foot to hold your head back. If you can keep it, just keep it straight and take care of it. The Aftermage of Tianguan's Punch At first I felt light and weak. Who would have thought that a few seconds later it would explode? Miller is not dead. He crawled out of the smoke and dust. Do you have tuberculosis or something but you keep coughing? Jiller gritted his teeth and frowned. Could this be the ant's true strength? It's so fast it's unbelievable. Cannot catch up. That power is too scary. Being beaten to a pulp by a level 9 ant is truly unreasonable. Jiller shouted clearly was rank 1. Why don't you fight back? Having lived an elite life for so long, I'm not used to being beaten so I'm a bit frustrated. Jiller braced himself and turned into a giant. Dan the ant, don't try to ride on dad's head. After speaking, he punched the ground hard. Tiang would gently dodge behind Jiller. I kicked my head and couldn't take it anymore. So that was it. Jiller saw ants in the back, back to throwing punches and punches, punching and cursing hatefully continuously. I punched a lot but hit nothing. Tiang would also punched him right in the stomach. Is someone with rich combat experience? Jiller leaned on Tianguan's punch and held his hand back. To be exact, catching small ants, how can the little ant be caught in a horizontal shock? After Jiller caught it, he smiled happily. You are definitely dead. He raised his claws to remind Tianguan that he was a rank one unreal sublime. Blow to the little ant's face. After finishing, he raised the corner of his mouth and smiled. His blow calmed the ant's mind, but reminisce about the past. Wu Ziyu talked to it the other day. He understands the little ant's hatred towards humans, but not all humans are hateful. For example, the Lyra Kinkian leader Feng Trio all sacrificed their lives to protect this place. They are not obnoxious at all. Over time, we will slowly accept each other. We'll then change the way we look at humanity. At that time, we will become true teammates. Today, I finally understand, boss. The guy who applied mixed cream killed my teammate today. I definitely have to deal with it. Tianguan took a punch from Jiller. Not only did he not die, but he was even more terrifying. Jiller looked at him and broke out in sweat. Tianguan looked at Jiller with angry eyes. Then it spoke in human language for him to hear. Massacre our fellow humans. Desecrate my master. Take over our land. Now my comrades have also been tragically killed by you. Jiller heard ants speak human language so smoothly it was a culture shock. He opened his eyes wide. Tiang Guam only stopped talking after punching Giller in the face. Unable to tolerate. A killer killed three people. A mantis and a group of small mice. This guy must be let die. After Tiang Wen's fist made contact with Jiller's face, he next brought Jiller's head into contact with the ground. One earth-shattering punch. Jiller stuck his head into the ground. The battle of little ants can end here. Tianguan stood and watched Jiller stick his head into the ground, not knowing what to think, when suddenly its back exploded. It's not that the bat goes in, it's that the body's endurance is limited. So it broke. The small ant's eyes gradually dimmed. It's been too good to endure until now. Anyway, this body is not its own. Each piece of armor falls out one by one. Wherever the little ant goes, debris will follow. Falls in a long line. It's reached the limit. Tiang Wen turned and walked away. Everything on his body gradually disappeared. Everybody, the little ant has taken revenge on their behalf. Although it's a bit late, Tiang Wen crossed his legs and sat down. It sat in front of the trio of humans it once hated. Now it feels like meeting them is really good. Lyra leader Fang Kinkiang. Even though they died, they all smiled contentedly. After all, they died protecting what they loved. It wasn't forced by anyone. So I felt very relieved and didn't hold any resentment. The armor has mostly disappeared, revealing Tiang Wen's ruined body inside. Sorry, master, I have to rest for a bit. Even though the Jiller is dead, it's still a disadvantage for the beast side. I don't know what happened to the author that left her to die like that. He also gave her death, but kept Lin Lin alive. Just now, when Tiang Wen came to fight, she had already run away. The ice cream ambassador and the strange beast faction fought for so long. She also ran 800 meters away. She kept running. She also saw a teammate, but she didn't look very happy because the person Lin Lin encountered was Ha He Chuling. From the first day she saw Ha He Chuling, she didn't consider He Chuling anything. He suffers from being surpassed by He Chuling all day long, so seeing He Chuling is equally unpleasant. What bad luck. Oh wait, your head has a good idea. 
Then he pretended to smile like he was familiar. Hello, dear Heat Shawling. The situation is so serious. Our side fought with the strange beast side. The fight was very intense, but the enemy side is weak so you should quickly come and eat and take away. Are they really weak? Heat Shawling's face darkened, and he still stood there listening to her. Lin, Lin smiled happily and patted Heat Shawling's shoulder. It's true, my friend. I have never lied to you. I'm injured, so I'll go back to the altar first. You run there to die. Hearing Lin, Lin say her best friend was injured made Heat Shawling very worried about her friend. Seeing Lin, Lin about to run away, she quickly jumped in front of her friend to stop her. Heat Shawling lightly hit you and you fell to the ground. Lin, Lin got angry. Are you crazy? Want to die? Half right, half wrong. It's true that Heat Shawling is looking for death. The mistake is that Heat Shawling sought death for Lin, Lin not for her. Did you get chills after listening to it, bitch? If you don't have enough feeling, then let's glare at it again. What are you talking? Once upon a time, I tried to kill myself. Now you want to kill me again. What a joke that's not funny at all. Look at your grandmother's face to see if she looks like a joke, girl. On Heat Shilling's face, outsiders would know that he was not joking, let alone Lin Lin. She was sweating all over. She gritted her teeth and cursed silently in her heart. Does this girl not know what humor is? Dear Heat Shawling, please calm down and listen to my explanation. In the past, when I was not yet an adult, I accidentally caused trouble with my friends. I admit I was wrong, but right now, it's not a civil war. Let's fight strange beasts together, my friend. What do you suggest? Don't suggest fighting strange beasts. Heat Shawling, of course, did not accept. Don't try to make peace with me. I'm not friends with you. I'm not a dog. Lin, Lin started to panic. Wasn't it because of the guru that when I kicked my friend in the past? The police are no longer pursuing. At that time, I couldn't control myself, so I accidentally hit random things. Who knew he would fall over and die? Stop it, you devil. If you don't have ambition, how can you be so afraid? If it wasn't intentional robbery, how could such a thing happen? If your mind is inherently impure, don't blame the situation. He Shulin immediately punched Lin Lin in the nose. She immediately followed her momentum and threw her face back, falling to the ground, holding her face and screaming loudly. 